what's going on you guys so i had put this poll up on my instagram story yesterday or day before yesterday and i am going to show you guys how i do my waist beads here is a needle literally a needle and thread needle that i'm going to be putting my elastic string through beading like this can take a lot of time being that every bead is not the same being so you will see shortly that <clears throat> some of the beads as I'm trying to you know push them down aren't always as wide as other beads so they break in the process of me trying to string them on that is perfectly fine with me there are more than enough beads to go around I do have another way of beading which I will show shortly after this which is just simply the string and my hand and it's literally like beading all hands on. The type of elastic string that I'm using that I have been using is the Stretch Magic Clear String. The size is 0.7 millimeters. I am going to be using 0.5 millimeters soon just to help with stringing on and beading on the smaller beads. As you can see here, I have started to do um, the hand bead process. Now, all beads do not weigh the same. Being so, you see how I'm, can, I'm able to bead it on like this, but sometimes they do fall off because the beads are too heavy on the string, which equals them all falling off. So sometimes, you know, you can see here, I'm doing some hands-on, I'm doing some still with the string. It just really depends on how I feel at the moment. If I feel like I'm getting like frustrated with the string, then I'll just go ahead and hand bead them as you see I'm doing here. As I'm creating my waist beads, I really free form and there's no desired or thought about process too deep. Um, I just really go with what I feel like my creative, intuitive side is telling me to do. There are other ways to make and create waist beads. A lot of the traditional ways are with the cotton string. And once you tie those on, it's pretty much a wrap with ever trying to take those off unless somehow they are just extremely big but I still don't see that being a you know a way that you can take those on and off the reason why I use the stretch string is because being women we all know that we go through so many different weight periods where our weight can fluctuate be up and down all the time whether it is with our cycle, whether it is being the time of the year, um, like the winter or the summer months, it can just be all over the place. And I understand that. So I decided to use this stretch string to be able to um, basically help the waist bees adjust to whomever is wearing them. There is also another process of beading that is um, widely practiced, which is through needling. That needle and those beads are extremely tiny and I haven't um, started that process. I'm not sure if I am, um, just because I like how I make my beads and I feel like these are unique and special to me and I don't want to be like everyone else's beads I just and and you can do, do it faster it's a lot faster process than what I'm doing but I'm cool with what I'm doing now so I decided to do a little back and forth with the softer pink and the warmer pink beads here just to add a little bit more flavor and color to this waist bead set I will be adding a elephant gold charm to this waist bead set and there will be a picture at the end of this video.
So getting at the end of this waist bead set, I tend to pull the string really tight without loosening it from that clamp that's at the opposite end. Just so I know once this customer puts this waist bead set on, there are no gaps and spaces on the waist bead set whatsoever. So there's going to be beads all the way around because this is stretchy string that does have the possibility to happen. Um, so here I'm going to pull them even tighter and just loop de loop and wrap and knot this waist bead set and then it's done. If y'all are interested in purchasing any waist beads, please feel free to click down below. My website link is down below as well as two coupons that are available to use to everyone. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it, even though I was a little nervous that I wouldn't be. This was fun. I did it on my balcony and I will see you guys later.